your rod and staff. Psalm 23 verse 4, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Beautiful verses in Psalm 23, as David continues to describe God being the shepherd of our lives, drawing a comparison from how a shepherd deals with his sheep. Now, when the shepherd is leading the sheep, sometimes he would lead it from front and the sheep just follow him. And there are times he would lead from the rear, just guiding them into the path that they are quite familiar with. And uh, sometimes the path that the, sh that the sheep have to go through leads them through the valley. Now this valley is pictured as a valley of the shadow of death because there could be predators all around. There could be dangers lurking. Sometimes the slope may be steep and it could cause the sheep to uh, stumble and tumble and fall. So there are all of these dangers. But as the sheep make their way through the valley, they're confident of certain things. First of all, they're confident that the shepherd knows the way. The shepherd knows where he's taking them to. So on the way to those green pastures, on the way to the still waters, they need to go through that valley. Or at the end of the day, towards the evening of the day, as they head back to their pen, uh, they need to go back from those green pastures and those still waters. They need to again climb back through the valley to head back home. So either way, they are confident the shepherd knows where he's taking them. And while they're making their way through the valley with potential dangers lurking around them, the sheep know the shepherd carries a rod and a staff. The rod is to fight off the predators. It's a solid stick that can ward off predators and David himself talks about killing the lion and the bear that came against, came to, to threaten the life of his sheep. And so here's a shepherd with a rod. And the staff, the staff is to guide the sheep, to make sure the sheep stay on course, stay on the right path. And if there are certain sheep that tend to wander off, the shepherd uses a staff, the rod um, and the staff to guide the sheep and keep them on the right track. And so the fact that the shepherd is with them, leading them through the valley, the fact that the shepherd is with them with the rod and his staff, the sheep fear no evil and the sheep are comforted. That means they are encouraged to make the journey. They are fearless, they are encouraged because the shepherd is with them. So also for you and me in our life's journey, as the shepherd of our souls, as he leads us, there will be times when we have to go through the valley. The valley isn't necessarily a bad experience, but it is somewhat maybe a different experience than lying down in those green pastures or drinking out the still waters. Uh, we may feel a little tense, it may feel a little uh, danger around, but as we go through those situations in life, like the valley of the shadow of death, there are two things. We can be fearless because our shepherd is with us. We can be bold, we can be courageous, and we can be confident, we can be encouraged, we can have confidence because he is there to protect us and he's there to guide us. He guards us and he guides us even through the valley. That's the shepherd of our souls. So take courage today. God is guarding you. God is guiding you even through the valleys of life. Let's pray. Oh God, we thank you, Heavenly Father. You are the shepherd of our souls. And we thank you for the assurance that even if we were to walk through a valley, you are guarding us, you're guiding us. Therefore, we can be fearless and we can be encouraged and comforted. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.